what is currently happening programs today i'm going to cover off the easiest and most reliable way to view your twitch chat in vr on almost any pc vr headset for free with basically zero performance hit to your pc so if you want to know who said what in real virtual time then stay locked enjoy and i hope it helps So the first thing you'll want to do is head on over to your Twitch channel and in the chat menu, click the little settings icon down here. Make sure you are in non-mod settings mode and pop out the Twitch chat. With that done, there are three reliable apps you can use to see your Twitch chat in VR. That has almost zero impact to your PC's performance and which one you'll need will depend on your VR setup and what additional features you want. I've put timestamps in the description below so once you know which app you need, you can check there and skip straight to that part of the video. First, there's Oculus Dash. This is for Oculus Rift users playing any native Oculus Home or Steam VR game and lets you pin any desktop window, including Twitch chat, into your VR space for free. This only works with single gaming and streaming PC setups due to the way Oculus Home and Windows handle audio. Then there's the free Live Streamer Kit app. This is for Steam VR gamers and works with any Steam VR compatible headset like Rift, Vive, Index, WMR or Pimax. This app will let you see your Twitch chat in VR and works with a single PC setup and also a dual PC setup if you are using a capture card. And lastly, there's Desktop Portal. This is for Steam VR gamers who want the option to view any PC desktop window, not just Twitch chat, in VR. And it works with both single and dual PC streaming setups. This is a paid option at around 10 bucks full price, but lets you customize your desktop windows in VR in a way that looks better on your stream. And even though it's a paid app, it is the one I recommend overall and use myself but it's up to you. Now you know which app you need, let's look at how to install and use them all. If you are using an Oculus Rift and are going with Oculus Dash, hold down the Oculus Home button on your right touch controller. Add a desktop window and select your Twitch chat pop out in here. Now aim at the Twitch chat window, hold the grip button on your controller, drag it to where you want it and then click this little pin icon down here. Hold down the Oculus Home button again and now you can play any Oculus Home or Steam VR game and your window will stay pinned in VR right where you set it. By default, the window won't show up in your stream or recording. To change this so your audience can see the Twitch chat window you see in VR, head on over to the drive you have Oculus installed on, for me it's my C drive, and go to Program File Oculus Support, and in the Oculus Diagnostics folder, right click the Oculus Mirror.exe and create a shortcut. Right click that shortcut and in the target field here, go to the end. Add a space and type dash dash include system GUI. Click OK and now your Twitch chat or whatever dash window you have pinned in VR will be visible in the Oculus Mirror window which you can then stream to Twitch or record for YouTube. If you find that dash glitches out on you, which can happen if you go crazy with resizing and placement, go to Oculus Home, click on the settings menu and on the beta tab, restart Oculus Home to fix that up. And that's Oculus Dash. If you went with the free Live Streamer Kit app, check the link in the description below to go to the Live Discord server. In here, go to the Get Streamer Kit channel, scroll to the top and click the link for the Live Streamer Kit Google form. Simply fill in the form with your details and a free Steam key will be automatically and instantly sent to your email address. Now just go to Steam, hover your mouse over Games, Click activate a product on Steam, follow the prompts, paste your Steam key in here, finalize the activation and install the app. Now launch Steam VR by clicking this icon here and once that started up, head to your Steam library. Find the Live Streamer Kit and launch it. In the Streamer Kit app, click on the Services tab and log into your Twitch account from here. Once that's linked, click on the Chat tab 
and in here you can customize how you want your Twitch window to show up in VR. Of note is this behavior option, where Basic attaches the Twitch chat window to your left or right hand, and this head follow option, which makes the window follow your view in VR. I prefer the basic option and these are the settings I use to get the chat window to show up on my wrist when I turn it over. Whatever you decide, launch a Steam VR game and you're good to go with the Live Streamer Kit app. If you decided on the more customizable desktop portal app, head over to the Steam store or check the link in the description below to buy and install the app. Once it is in your Steam library, launch Steam VR by clicking this icon here. And once that started up, head to your library and launch desktop portal. Now put on your VR headset and after a few moments, look at the back of your left wrist and select this bar here. Add a new window and select whatever window you want to pin in your VR space. In this case, the Twitch chat window we popped out earlier. Holding the grip button down on your VR controller, drag this window to where you want it in your VR space and click on the settings icon here. On the visual tab, you can tick the pinned box so that when you close down the desktop portal interface, your Twitch chat window will stay right here where you pinned it. Also of note is the option to hide your chat when you're not looking at it. And you can set it how you like, but these are the settings I use to ensure that my gameplay is free from desktop windows unless I look directly where I pinned them. Very helpful. And there's also a ton of other great options in here. And once you're done configuring, you can close down the desktop portal interface. The one call out I do have with this app is that the window you have pinned in VR can't be minimized on your desktop. And if you are using multiple computer monitors, the window has to remain on the monitor you had it on when you created the window. Moving it around after the fact can cause glitches, but if all else fails, just restart Steam VR and relaunch desktop portal. Now start any Steam VR game and you're good to chat with your viewers in real time on your stream. And that's it for this tutorial. You can help support this channel by grabbing exclusive rewards on Patreon and if you like this video, then crush that like button, have your say in the comments below and hit the XO logo to subscribe if you wanna. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.